Hello everybody and welcome back to another Farming Simulator 2017 mod showcase. Today we're taking a look at Deutzvar Agrotron TTV 6190. This is version 5. It's available on modhub.us. And in the description it basically lists everything off the brochure. So we're not going to go through all that. We're just going to go through all the mod features themselves. Okay. So the overall model looks very very good uh, like in the last Deutzfar that we had I like the look of the mesh that goes through the texture is a little bit wonky in some places but I don't really mind it that much mainly because you know you're kinda of far away from it anyway uh, it doesn't have the scratches like the other one either there's some notable things you can do on the outside though. You can unmount fenders, unmount these little guys, go ahead and take off both fenders here. Okay. And that's, uh, you can open the door. And it turns on the uh, light on the inside. Okay, so go ahead and hop inside here. Run down through all the IC controls. We've got a sunroof that opens and closes. The visor that opens and closes there. Doors. Wiper blade. This is for the daytime running lights. Turns on those little guys right down there. Put them off. This uh, raises and lowers the front thing, so it just took off. And go ahead and pop them back on. Oh, no, they're on. Yeah, see how they're up now? Now they're down. That took a while to figure out. I was like, I didn't know what the, the control was actually there for. Another door opens. A back glass opens. And the hood opens. So we'll go ahead and open it up and take a look at that. Pretty nice detailing on all the heat exchanger, the accumulation chamber, all the hoses there. You can kind of see, uh, it looks like some kind of, I don't know, uh, I, like the wastegate to the turbo hooked up to the main turbo plumbing or something. I'm not really sure. You can zoom in a little bit. A little broken texture there, nothing horrible. I mean, you're not going to see it, you know, unless you're really, really zoomed in. Engine on this side looks oh, pretty good. Okay. Now this does have the cabin suspension, so we can go ahead and check it out. See other how we're bouncing just a little bit, and then we hit... Number six, and it disables it. Okay, here's an acceleration test on what it sounds like inside. Max is out of 32. And now for the acceleration sounds from the outside. And braking. Okay, standard cost and horsepower for the 6190 is 193 horsepower and 1,000, geez, I wish it was 1,000, 156 grand is what the base cost is going to be. If you add a front loader attacher, it is 800 bucks. Next up is the wheel weights. They're just the standard in-game wheel weights and they're 1,000 extra dollars on top of the base cost of the tractor. For an additional $800, you can get the wide tire pack, which moves the front up. Uh, from a 540 series to a 600 series width tire. And these are the wides and these are the narrows. The rear gets moved from a 650 up to a 710 series. And there's a pretty good decent shot of how much wider they actually are. Okay, the next option is the wide with the weights. It's the same wide tire except for you've gained the, the wheel weight on the back and it's 1800 instead of 1000. $600 on top of base cost gets you the narrow tires for 
like row crop tires, whatever you want to call them there. And it doesn't look as goofy as what they normally do with row crop tires, so that's kind of nice, especially whenever you take off these. Doesn't look nearly as bad or as goofy, so I think that one's kind of acceptable. Okay, the last option is the rear twins for plus eight hundred dollars. Uh, they're the standard width tire, just two of them in the back. I kind of like the connector they've got going on here. It looks really good. It doesn't look too far out of place. I don't think I've ever seen one like this though, so keep that in mind. Okay, like I do in all my videos, we're going to do the plow test, starting with the Titan 11. It's a 240 horsepower plow. So if this thing is done correctly in the XML file, it should kind of struggle pulling this. But we're still able to hit our working speed, so it might be a little off. Especially seeing how we're going at an uphill slope here. So we'll check it on the next one and see what it does. Alright, next up is the SPSL9 from the Big Butt Pack. It requires 550, and this will actually tell us if the power levels are good enough. No, no, it, it scaled up too high. The other Deutz and one of the Masseys that we've had on before struggled more than this did. And the Dutz that we had on yesterday, or earlier today, depending on when I put up the videos, uh, you could only hit two miles an hour and we're doubling that speed and that tractor had almost a hundred more horsepower so the XML file needs to be edited correctly for the actual power of the tractor you can't just change numbers around on the storefront page it doesn't work like that you actually have to go into the, the actual XML file for the vehicle to get it to work correctly all right, so that's been my review of the Dortzfar Agritron TTV 6190 version 5. Again, it's available on the modhub.us. As usual, the link will be in the description below. And if you guys have something you would like me to review, please let me know down in the comments below. Like the video if you like it. Dislike it if you didn't. And again, I'm so sorry. I have a head cold from hell. So thanks for putting up with it. And we'll see you guys in the next one.